Oh, hi guys. This is Mr. Regu and welcome back to our series of Beat the Test, uh, the Geometry EOC exam. Okay, so let's continue. Uh, let's start with question number 15. Okay, I have some information already on the board. Pentagon Craft has coordinates C, R, A, F, T, and it is dilated by scale factor two thirds centered at the origin. Okay, so they give me the five points, and they are saying that it's dilated by scale factor of two thirds. All right, I have my scale factor right here, two thirds, and center at the origin. Okay, first question: Determining which quadrant C R uh, craft prime craft prime will be. Okay. First thing we need to do is find the coordinates of C prime, R prime, A prime, F prime, and T prime. So we've got to find all those coordinates. So I have the original uh, order pairs. So I know they're dilated by two thirds. So let's get a pen over here. Let's change that to red, I guess, or something like that. And let's find C prime. So C prime is going to be equal to two thirds of my original, which is negative two comma one. All right. So two thirds of that. So that's going to give me. Uh, uh, I got to find all of them. All right, so two thirds of negative four over three, okay, comma two times one is two, so that's two thirds. All right, let's go. Uh, C prime, I'm sorry, R prime is gonna be two thirds of negative five, comma two, so that's gonna give me negative ten. So I'm doing this right, negative ten divided by three. And that's going to give me 4 divided by 3. And that's my R prime. A prime is 2 thirds of my original, which is negative 6, 7. Okay, and this is going to give me uh, 2 thirds of negative 6. It's going to give me negative 12 divided by 3. It's going to give me negative 4, comma. And 2 thirds times 7, that's 14 over 3. All right. F prime is two thirds of negative three nine negative three nine which is two times negative three is that's that's negative six divided by three is negative two and this is going to be 18 divided by three is six all right t prime is two thirds of negative one comma six two thirds of one is negative two thirds and 2 thirds times 6 is 2 times 6 is 12. 12 divided by 3 is 4. All right, so let me double check. I have those values. I need to kind of uh, locate them here. All right, because the question is determining which quadrant C, R, A, if all prime will be located. So we're not going to be exactly because we're looking for what quadrant. Okay, so this is going to be negative 4, comma, negative 4 thirds, 2 thirds. So negative 4 thirds is a little bit more negative 1 and 2 thirds. So Something around here is going to be my C prime. Okay, negative 4 thirds and 2 thirds. Uh, my R prime is negative 3, negative 10 over 3, which is a little bit, neg a little bit more negative 3. And 4 thirds is going to be 1, negative 3, and a little bit more like that here. So something like that, our, my, my R prime is going to be around here. Uh, negative 4 and 14 over 3. So negative 4 in, in my X value, 14 over 3, which is almost 5. So something around here. Again, I'm looking to see in what quadrant they are. No, I'm not specifically looking for them exactly. My F prime is negative two six, so it's negative two comma six. So that one we have exactly, and that's my F prime and my T prime is negative two thirds four. My negative two thirds is almost almost negative one and four, so it's around here. So again, if we can see, all of them are in Q two. This is Q2, so my first answer is quadrant two. All right. What is the x coordinate of a prime? X coordinate of a prime. X coordinate of a prime is negative four. Okay, that's an easy one because we did the work already. All right. Uh, C. What is the difference between the y coordinate of f prime? Let's let's get a blue or something that we can uh, make a difference. So what is the y coordinate of f prime y coordinate of a prime okay and the y coordinate of t 
in the y coordinate of t. Okay, so they're asking me what is the difference between those two? And the difference is 6 minus 4 is 2. 6 minus 4 is 2. What is the difference between the y coordinate of f and the y coordinate of t? f prime is 6, t prime is 4. That's it. Okay, so my answer is 2. All right, so the idea was uh, to make sure that we understood how to affect the, the scale factor. Okay, for my transformation is in dilation because it's two thirds is getting reduced. It's going from bigger to smaller. Okay, if you notice these values, all these values on my right side are smaller than the original problems. Why? Because my scale factor is two thirds. That was the idea of this problem. Okay, and that's how you affect every single one of them. You multiply times the x and times the y on every single order pair. All right, and then that's how you got your t. These are your primes. All right, this is your c prime and so on and so forth. All right, uh, let's go next. Okay, question 16. Interesting. Which quadrant has two similar polygons? Just for your answer. Magic word here is similar. Uh, in order for me to have two similar polygons, angles have to be congruent. Okay, have to be congruent. Have to be congruent meaning the same okay uh, technically the, 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 the two shapes have to be equal all right the only difference is one is smaller than the other one so angles have to be congruent and sides have to be proportional sides are proportional proportional means uh, they're bigger or smaller but proportionally okay and I'll show you I'll explain that in a minute so which quadrant has a similar polygon so I have Q1 here, Q2, Q3, making sure that we understand what the quadrants, and this figure is in Q4, all right, using number numerals, Roman numerals, Q1, 2, 3, and 4. So first of all, we need to find out, the, 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 you know, they look the same, all of them are rectangles, so let's do Q1. The inner one is a rectangle, the big one is a rectangle, proportional, the top is, is equal to 2, and the side is equal to 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay, so this is for the inner drawing, 2 and 4. The big one, now the big one, I have, uh, now for the big shape, uh, I'm going to call it in red, and the top is 2 again, right? We're talking about the big one now. And the size is 2 and 4 is 6 and 8. Okay, so let me explain one and you'll understand all of them. So here, let me do the blue, the, the red one again. The red one is 2 and 8, okay? I'm putting it on the side. This is 2 and this is 8. The little one on the inside is 2 and 4, okay? The question is, are those two similar? 2 and 4. When they are similar means I'm going to multiply by scale factor, okay? So if there's any number that I can multiply these two to get these two numbers, so let me give you an example. Let me bring, uh, I don't know, green or whatever, uh, something like that. So 4. This 4 is the, the side, the right side. So 4 has to be proportional to 8. Meaning, how do I get 8 from 4? I got to multiply 4 times 2 to get 8. All right? From 4 to get 8, I got to multiply 2. So in that case, my scale factor is 2. Same thing here. That means to be proportional I, I multiply this value times the same scale factor, and I should get this, which is not. The 2 times 2 is 4, so this side should be 4 in order for those two to be proportional, to be similar. Therefore, my first, they're not similar because the top is different. It's not proportional the same. They're not, they don't have the same scale factor. Let me go to the left side, okay? In the same idea, let me look at the inner Okay, the top is 2, and this is 1, 2, 3, and 4. All right, let's do the other one. Let's change the color, and let's say blue, for example. Let's see if there's any, uh, any uh, proportional, any scale factor. The top is 1, 2, and 3, all right, and the size is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Again, from 4 to 8, I multiply times 2. Therefore, I got to multiply times 2 here, to get the top and 2 times 2 is not 3 is 4 therefore they don't have the same scale factor 
same in this case my two is the scale is the scale factor let's go to the bottom okay uh, you know what let's go to q4 let's look at q4 so the inner this is two on the top and this is one two three four there we go we got the same two and four now let's change that for red and let's do the big one now the red this is one two three four the top and what about the side one two three four five six seven eight oh here we go all right so let's do the size first from four to eight i gotta multiply times two so my scale factor is two i gotta do the same thing from here remember the this is the bottom and the top is the same thing so that means that i have to multiply by the same scale factor if i multiply two times my scale factor which is two two times two i get four so they have the same scale factor therefore these two are similar to each other so my answer is q4 in what quadrant has the two similar polygons in this case it's q4 let me check this one so we double check let's go on the inside the top is two and the side is one two three four same thing let's change the color for the big one let's double check we gotta double check so the big one it says one two three four five six okay so the big one one two three so the bottom is six which is the same as the top and the side is one two three four five six seven eight okay here we go again eight the size have to have this right now has a scale factor of two four times two is eight all right remember the the top at the bottom these two are the same there's two so if i use the same scale factor two times two this should be a four right now it's a six therefore they're not using the same scale factor so they're not similar polygons okay so my answer here this is no, this is no, this is no. My answer is in Q4. In quadrant four is where you have the two similar polygons. Okay. Let's stop there. Again, if you're learning something, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.